All right, so now that the ghost is leaving home, we need to make it have its AI. So the AI isn't too complicated, um, especially programming wise, but I was using the site as a reference to how the AI actually works. So basically I'm gonna try and just sort of give a brief overview on this. It's not super crucial because I'm gonna be showing you how to program it, but if you're interested, you can just come back to this website too and check out all of the details. So basically there's three types of mode. There's scatter mode, chase mode, and frighten mode. So chase mode is the ghost's main thing. So the red, for example, the red ghost constantly chases, chases Pac-Man. The pink ghost chases where Pac-Man is going to be. Um, and then the other two do different things. Then scatter mode basically just has them going around their corners. So like red would just be going over this corner, pink would be going over this corner. And it's constantly looping back and forth every 7 to 20 seconds between these two modes. Um, and then frightened mode is just when you ate a power pellet and then they just move in random directions. So we're going to be setting up a timer that changes uh, where they're going to be going. But first, before we even start getting into the modes, we're going to program the chase mode for the individual ghost AI. So funny enough, the red ghost is supposed to basically attack Pac-Man as quickly as possible. So it wants to get to the closest node when making decisions. But funny enough, the programming wasn't programmed in order to actually technically do this. We can see right here if Pac-Man's on this node, it draws a line from the left node and then it draws a line from the right node and it asks which line is closer. So technically speaking, this line, because Pac-Man is underneath of it, is closer. Um, so the ghost would go all the way around rather than going to the right. Now, even though that is the inefficient way of doing it, we're going to program it based on how the original game programmed it. So basically, it's just going to grab Pac-Man's tile and it's going to grab both possible directions or every direction possible and it's going to say which one has the closest ray cast line to pac-man so we're going to go back to our enemy controller and underneath this reach center of node we are going to create four functions determine red ghost direction whoops and then determine pink ghost direction determine blue ghost direction and determine orange ghost direction so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need access to pac-man's game object so we're going to declare our game manager up here. Game manager equals game object dot find dot get component game manager as usual. And then in our game manager, we are going to keep reference to our Pac-Man game object which we will set in the inspector after. Now we're going to have another function called get closest direction. And we are going to send in a vector to target. So now under determine red ghost direction, we're just going to get closest direction or sorry, string direction equal to get closest direction. And we're just going to send in pacman or a game manager dot pacman dot transform dot position. So basically we're going to send our, oh, that did not like that. Um, oh, so this is string. So basically we are just going to create a function where we can send in pacman's position and it will determine uh, which direction is the closest direction to take. The reason why we didn't do it in here is because we're going to be reusing this function. So we're going to have a shortest distance. 
equal to zero. Then we're going to get our last moving direction from our movement controller. Last moving direction. And now we're basically going to check all of the available directions that we can go right now and figure out which one's the shortest. However, this is important. A ghost cannot actually turn around unless it's changing game modes, like from chase to scatter, which it automatically turns around. Uh, so if it's normally moving, it's not allowed to reverse directions. So we're going to say, oh, actually, we need access to our node controller. So we're going to type in node controller, node controller equals movement controller dot current node dot get component node controller. So now we have access to the current node we're on. We're going to say if node controller dot can move up and last moving direction does not equal down. Then we're going to need access to the node above. So node up equals uh, node controller dot node up. And then we are going to get the distance from this node up to Pac-Man. So float distance equals vector two dot distance. This is just an automatic thing. Um, and you send in the transform dot position of the first node. Whoops, transform dot position. And then we send in our target position. So this is now going to get the distance between the node above our ghost and Pac-Man. Get the distance between our top node and Pac-Man. Then we're going to say if distance is less than shortest direction or shortest distance um, or shortest distance equals zero, then we are going to set shortest distance equal to distance and then we are going to set direction new direction to equal up all right so let's go over this so we remember we are in the center of the node trying to figure out where we're able to go next so we're going to say if we can move up and we aren't reversing, get the node above us, get the distance between our top node and Pac-Man. If this is the shortest distance so far, set our direction. And at this point, it will always be our shortest distance so far because this is the first one we're checking. But then we are going to do the exact same thing for every other direction. So we're going to say if can move down and last moving direction does not equal up. Then we're going to set node down equal to node controller dot node down. Same here. And then if this distance between the node below us was shorter than the one above us, then it's going to reset this shortest distance and it's going to reset new direction. We can copy that again. Can move left. And that does not equal right. Node left. And left. And then finally, We are going to ask if we can move right. If last moving direction is left, node right, right. And then once we're done, we're going to return our new direction. So that's this function. So now this is going to be the new direction. And then we're just going to set 
power direction calling movement controller dot set direction direction okay um, now determine red ghost direction is never called so what we're going to do we want to call this if we're moving through nodes if uh, ghost type equals ghost type dot red uh, then determine red ghost direction okay so now we need to make sure that all of our inspector variables are set so I do remember that we needed to set our pacman variable in our game manager so we are just going to drag our player into there and then we're going to click play now ideally the ghost should be moving towards us assuming everything works usually things don't work right off the bat um, let's set ready to leave home to be true set its speed to about one and it is not doing anything okay so let's take a look at exactly what's going on right now um, so I'm gonna basically I could do this off camera but I want to be able to show you guys oh wait set that to red <laughs> duh okay so I was gonna show you guys how I debug but obviously I figured it out pretty quick so as you can see red is now chasing us and it is doing it based on the closest direction awesome so I'm going to end the video after this but I am going to give you guys a recap right now so if you understand what's going on feel free to skip this next part I just want to go over exactly what's happening so we have our enemy controller it has a bunch of different states and we have different colors different colored ghosts uh, do different actions so when we first start we're gonna detect what color we are so if we're red then we are going to set our start start node to ghost node start uh, which is just above home if we're pink we're gonna be in the center um, of home etc so then um, by default we are going to reach center of the node as soon as we turn on the game basically our ghost is going to immediately start moving towards our start node just because that's what the movement controller does the ghost by default moves towards its current node before you set a direction or anything if there is a current node the ghost will move towards that node so because we set our uh, current node right here our ghost is going to move into its start position now actually we should make our transform dot position equal to starting node dot position or dot, dot transform dot position we don't want our ghost to slowly move there we want them to spawn there I just realized that I said that I was doing a recap so I'm gonna redo that later just in case anybody skipped this part <laughs> um, okay so once they reach the center of their starting node it is going to determine what state they're in so we're not going to touch these yet we are going to be in our either center left or right or start state um, then it needs to determine if we're ready to leave home right now we're just selecting it in the inspector but the game manager is going to determine when each ghost is ready to leave home later based on how many pellets we've collected so we actually left a comment here um, check how many pellets were eaten that's why so once the game manager uh, sets our ready to leave home to true it's going to check what state we're in and depending on that state it's going to set our direction that we want to go in so if we're in the left node we need to get from the left node to the center node to the start node so we need to go right so if we're in the left node it's going to set our direction to right and then nothing else is going to happen we're going to move to that center node and then it's going to say oh we reached the center again and it's going to recall this this time our ghost node state is going to be set to center so now we're going to move up and then once we reach the start node our ghost node state is going to be set to moving an index and we're going to move left so now that we're moving an index moving in nodes so now that we're moving in our nodes the next time we reach the center rather than 
doing any of this stuff, we need to determine the closest direction to Pac-Man if we're red. And we'll get to the other AI later. So that's all red does, is they determine how close Pac-Man is. So we're going to call this determine red goes direction. And then this is going to get our closest direction to Pac-Man. And get closest direction is basically going to grab the distance between each direction. So if the ghost was right here, um, it would grab our right node and our bottom node, and it would draw a line to Pac-Man, basically. And whichever line is shorter is the direction that the ghost takes. So we're doing, yeah, factor 2 dot distance, um, node right in this example, dot transform dot position, and then our Pac-Man is our target position. So that would be grabbing the distance from here to here. And then as we go through these if statements, it's just setting the shortest distance. So um, if it sets, let's say the ghost is right here on this node, it's going to say, oh, we can move up. So now it's going to get the distance and it's going to set the shortest distance. And right now our direction is going to be up. But then it's going to also say, oh, we can move left. Or I guess right is first. So it'll say, oh, we can move right. So then it's going to get the distance and it's going to say, oh, the distance between our right node is shorter than the distance between our top node. So we're just going to overwrite it. Oh, this is left. Yeah. I just saw the word right. So yeah, the distance between our left node is shortest than the distance between our uh, top node. So we're just going to overwrite our new direction. And it will do that for each one until it eventually just gets the shortest direction. And then it will simply call movement controller dot set direction direction. So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. If not, that's okay. We're going to be continuing to go through this. And I'm sure by the end of it, you're going to start to pick up some stuff. All right. So now we have red chasing Pac-Man. So right off the bat, we are going to want to set our transform dot position to equal starting node dot transform dot position and what this is going to do is as soon as we start the program it's going to warp our ghost to the spot that they're supposed to be in rather than slowly moving to the spot because realistically we want them to start out where they're supposed to be so let's start this game up and you can see the ghost is automatically to the right and then at any time we can just click ready to leave home and it will start chasing us however the next thing we need to work on before we start adding more ghosts is um, adding the ability to have them respawn oh i just noticed the ghost stopped chasing me i wonder why that happened oh i literally ran into this in the last it's because its ghost type is orange and we don't have anything coded for orange. I'm just going to code this to or set this to red now so I don't run into that again. Okay, so now we need to make it so that it can respawn. 